Hello everyone, Glenda Mollett here and welcome to my craft room. I am going to be doing a card using Sparkle of the Season bundle tonight for you. Now, I have a club and, oh, let's just see if I'm up and running first. There we go. Okay, good. Hello. Just be quiet. There we go. Okay, so... Hi, Norma. Oh, people popping on. Okay, so I have a club. And every month, well, we used to get together in person. Now we do it virtually. But every month, the hostess gets to choose what stamp set, bundle, or suite um, they want me to create with. So we started this when COVID started. And it's been going really well. I like the fact that they get to choose. And of course, there's limitations. If I don't have it, then we try to work something out. Sometimes I get it because it's on my list anyways. So this one just happened to be the one that our hostess for October chose. And I didn't have it. So I decided that I needed to get it because I really enjoyed that wreath builder dies and the I don't remember what the stamp set was that just retired. And I figured if I enjoyed that one so much, I'm going to enjoy this one too. Oh, look at that. There's Norma and Holly and Jean and Val and Connie, Janet. Hey, everybody. Oh, it's so nice to see people coming on. So I got the bundle. Thank you to our hostess of the month. And I have had so much fun. So the bundle is the Sparkle of the Season stamp set and then the dies. Look at that. Look at this cute pumpkin. And there's a witch's broom. Oh, that's so cute. Hey, Jean. So that's what I created the October club cards with, this bundle. And when I was creating them, I decided I was having way too much fun and I didn't want to stop. So I created another card. But... I really have to apologize because I used this Blackberry Bliss striped ribbon on it. And it wasn't until afterwards that I realized that that's not available anymore. That retired in June. So I'm sorry. It's already on the card, so I have to use it. So um, this die is cut out of the Blackberry beauty designer blackberry beauty designer paper and then there's a piece of blackberry Be bliss cardstock underneath there some die cuts um the word is right out of the stamp set and then on the inside i have another couple of pumpkins and i i'll show you where i cut these out of oh hi val hi wendy yeah i know hi jean I don't remember who I said hi to. So, hi, everybody. Yeah, oops. It was a big oops. Yeah, not not my best moment, we'll say that. Okay, so let's put this up here. So, along with the bundle, I'm going to use the star-crossed embossing folder. Now, this was one I thought, nah, I don't think I'm going to like this. But I thought if I'm getting this bundle, I'm going to get that embossing folder, too. And look how cute it is. I love it. So I'm going to use that. Oh, I forgot to bring my my machine over. Sugar Shack. Aw, oh, thanks, Val. I'm going to use rhinestones. And you'll see they got color on them. Because I'm going to color them with my black dark Blackberry Bliss marker. So I'm going to do that first because, oops, they need time to um, dry before I use them. So I'm using the brush end of my marker because I don't use that end. I use the other one. So I feel I can use it to color these rhinestones because when it wrecks the tip, it doesn't matter because I don't use that tip anyways. So I just go round and around to get the sides and then just go back and forth over the top. And then I do a couple of dip, 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 dips on the top. Then I set it aside to dry. And I like putting the dit dit dits on because it just it helps that them get darker. There we go. 
So that's how you color them. Hi, Carol. Okay, I'm going to put those over to the side. And while you look at the card, I'm going to get my machine because I forgot that. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. So I'm using vanilla on this one, which is not something I use a lot. I keep forgetting about it, so we're going to use it tonight. Okay. Sorry, I have an itch. Itchy elbow. I know an itchy palm is you're going to come into money, but what does an itchy elbow mean? Okay, so... Very vanilla card base, eight and a half by five and a half, and a coordinating envelope. Piece of very vanilla, five and a quarter by four for the inside. A piece of very vanilla. Um, what? I don't have the. I don't have the measurements. Uh oh. Okay, I didn't write down the measurements. This is four and three quarters by three and a half. Got to write that on there. Where's my pencil? Four and three quarters. Oh, there it is right there. Apparently it is on my list. I just can't see it. Open your eyes, mullet. Okay. Blackberry Beauty designer paper, three and a half by three and a half. Do you see what I'm missing? Do you see what I'm missing? Oh my good lord. Okay, this is two and a quarter by two and a half to do the stamping on. A uh, scrap of gold. This one is something. One, and a, one half by three for the sentiment. This is a scrap of mossy meadow and of course the ribbon. But do you see what I'm missing? Who stopped? What stopped? I didn't stop. I think it's your internet, Wendy. I'm missing my Blackberry Bliss layer, which is five by three and a quarter, and I didn't get it made, so hang on. Just when I think I'm ready... I mess up again. And hang on, let me tell you about the big mess up. Sorry, what size was this? This was five by three and three quarters. There we are. Got it. Yes, the back. I forgot the back. Oh, my gosh. So <laughs> let me tell you about my, my oh, my good Lord moment I had today. Um, club is October the 6th. So I'm sending out this email to remind everybody that their club orders have to be in. And then I sent out an email to say their packages are ready for local pickup. And you can pick them up tomorrow. And I'll email the recipes and the video links out so then i go to the recipes yep haven't done the videos yet so guess what i'm going to be doing tomorrow i spent all morning today videoing for the merriest moments class tomorrow i'm going to do my club cards okay so i'm lining this up so that it's going that it's exactly in half and i'm going to emboss that Okay. Oops. I don't think that's right. I think, yep. Gotta get the other blades out here. Cutting plates. There we go. Aha. Oh, I like it, Val. I didn't think I was going to like it, but it's really linear which makes my heart happy. I like linear things. And look at that. It's gorgeous. So if you're out there and you're in my club, the 
the <laughs> videos were, are coming. Okay, so I put the stars at the top and the checks at the bottom. So I'll turn this one around and do it the other way. Oh, don't let me forget about... I'm going to flip the, the note over so you can't see who won. But don't let me forget about this. I have to tell you who won that package of designer paper. If I put it right there, maybe I'll remember. Okay. It's going this way, so I need the tape. This is tear and tape for to put the ribbon on. Because it's difficult with... Um, What's that stuff called? Stamp and seal. Yes, you have to. Don't leave it unloved in the in a storage somewhere. It needs loving. Okay, down a little tiny bit. Right about there. It needs to be loved. Okay. Line this up. Make sure it's straight, and we'll just put a little bit of tape on top of that to hold it in place. Yeah, so I've been videoing all day today. It took me four and a half hours this afternoon. I had four videos to do. So tomorrow I'm live, 10 o'clock in the morning, on YouTube, and then I'll be doing three more videos. Good thing I love doing them. Ah, come on. There we go. Okay. Stamp and seal for the rest of it. And then we got to put off to the side. Now before I cut that, or before I put that on the card, I want to cut it with that die. I might as well use that piece underneath there. Okay, get rid of that. Don't need that anymore. I feel like there's going to be another avalanche. Hang on, move it over a bit. There we go. It wasn't in the middle and it was going to show when I put the paper on top of it. Ugh. Oops. Come on. Hey! There we are. out. Take the center out. This is, this, 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 these dies, hello, get the mouth working. These dies are a little tricky to get out, parts of them, because they have such long, thin arms that go that up there that it really takes a couple of seconds to coax things to come out. There we go. But don't throw that away because that's what I'm going to cut the pumpkins out of for the inside and the envelope. Okay, come on. Off. Let's get the rest of these pieces out of here. that one. Now I'm going to cut exactly the same one out of this designer paper. The Christmas quilt one? I don't have that one. Okay. Got to be careful when you tempt this out of its designer paper because it, this paper is quite fragile and I don't want to rip. There we go. I don't want to rip the, the die cut. Just 
use the brush on this one. There we go. Yeah, so continuing on with my craft room cleaning, I'm going to have to come up with something to do with the piles of stuff that's growing in my spare room. Okay, so that dye's done. This one's got all the pieces out of it. Now, let's get some Tombow onto these so they can sit and meditate. I think my Tombow's going to come out. Yep. Now, I'm not going to put it on the leaves because I like it when they kind of stick up. I'm just putting it on the the swirly things and not the edges of the the tips of the swirly things because I want those to stick up too. Oops just got glue all over me. There we go. Oh and it's a sad day today. We finished watching Mid, call the midwife just in time for all the new shows to start okay we'll put that off to the side let it dry we'll do this one so we watched the new family law one last night it's not bad I think it's going to be a good one I should be using my silicone mat underneath here. <clears throat> Otherwise I'm going to end up with glue everywhere. And um, tonight there's a couple of new ones. Tomorrow night being Tuesday. Tuesday is always a good TV night. And they got a bunch of CSIs and FBI's and all those cool shows. There we go. Let those dry. Okay. Put that off to the side. Now, card base. And this is going to go on here crooky-eyed because I like it crooky-eyed. And then we'll put the vanilla one on straight. Okay, so I'm going to stick that on there like that. And now this one, we've already got the adhesive on. It's really difficult for me <laughs> to get this on straight now. So I have to use my I have to use my uh, grid paper. There we go. That will do. Okay. And the rich razzleberry one goes down first. Now I got to put the, I'm putting the spray of stuff down there. So I kind of want to put the part of the, the dye down there. That's n doesn't matter if it gets covered up. There's that one, and now we'll put this one on top and offset it a bit. Sure. And look at that. Look at that gold on there. Does that not gorgeous? Okay. That's that. Now, this piece, we need to stamp leaves. In Evening Evergreen. Put those over there. I still have some die cutting to do. The leaves. One. Oh. I keep forgetting that this 
the stamp set is so much better when you use the the uh, what's this thing called pierce mat. You get such a m much better image. There. Now you can see the difference. That, I didn't use the mat on the, that one, but I did on those two. What a difference. Okay. Inside. Inside, I'm going to do like that. And then the envelope, the same thing. So let's just stamp it now while we're at it. Oh, I love Blackberry Bliss too, Jean. It's one of my favorite ones. One. Two. And then I want to do stamped off one in the middle. So there's that. Envelope, please. One, two, and stamped off one in the middle. There we are. That's that done. I just will put my name on the back of the card while it, I'm here with the ink open. That away now and get the raspberry out stamp the sentiment this card is actually doesn't take too long to put together and it really does look pretty I think it's time for a new piece of paper on my stamp and pierce mat too Okay, so it's going over slightly over this way because that way it's got to tuck under, but I still have to flag that end. So I'm going to kind of left-ish. <laughs> I don't know, Val. Maybe the next one to put an order in will get this card. Okay, that's the stamping done. That over there. Get the die for this. And die cut one of these out. Well, I have two of them. So the next two people that put in an order can have this card. I need a pumpkin. On there, I need some leaves on there. Now I need to get two pumpkins out of that. Two or three? Oh, just one. Okay, one out of that and one out of this. Oh. Pieces of those twirly things. One of those. One of those. One of these. Run that through. Speaking of orders. No, not yet. I checked this morning and the, um, the dies are still not there. Hang on, so I know what I'm talking about. Yes, the Nature's Harvest dies were not in this morning when I checked. One pumpkin, but I will go in and I will go in um, as soon as I get this card done while I'm still online, and I will let you know what the expected or shipping date is. I don't think I have enough. Oh, maybe I do, because the inside ones don't have that. Nope, it's just two pumpkins. Okay, so that 
And this one. I am keeping an eye on it. I know there was a bunch of stuff due in today because I'm hoping that the ribbon comes in for my um, penguin class. It was supposed to be in today. Now, that goes there. So I'm going to cut out two pumpkins. Uh-oh. Where did I put the pumpkin die? Oh, there it is. Whew. Two pumpkins out of this and two pumpkins out of this for decorating the inside of the envelope. That's okay. You can check as many times as you want, Val. I don't mind at all. Because, you know, it's not like I don't forget stuff. Shall I just refer you to the beginning of this video where I said that I completely forgot to do my my club um, videos for October? Yeah. I'm guilty. I admit it. Even with all the to-do lists, I do. I still don't get it. It's bizarre. Whoops. I squished my pumpkin. I guess I need to make more, more to-do lists. I need to-do lists for my to-do lists. Well, Val, blondness has got nothing to do with the color of your hair. Just saying. Okay, one more pumpkin. Then I think we're good to go. Oh, but I did get all the videos, all the recipes, all the links done for the October um, peaceful peaceful cabin class and which which will be the October monthly tutorial as well so they're all done at least I'm ahead on that okay and I have this I have this twirly around thing hang on let me show you let's take my phone out for half a sec maybe okay so over here see this twirly around thing that I keep all of my scissors and pens and and stuff in that was my cleaning project for the day today I took everything out of that I scrubbed it and I took out about probably um, 25 pens apparently I'm a pen hoarder but why? It's not like you can use more than one pe pen at a time. Crazy. Okay. Glue dots. Let's build this thing. There's a glue dot way up there. A little lonely thing. Yeah, so if anybody's got any ideas of what the next um, series is that we can watch on like Netflix or something. So that's that. And I need glue dots on my leaves. It's just so much easier with glue dots than with anything else. It's like putting Tombow on them and let, letting them just sit there without having the time, I have to worry about the time to let them dry before you use them. Okay, and oops, just about missed that. There we go, I went on that one. And a couple on the pumpkin. Just 
just about done putting glue dots on. One more. Oh no, got two more, three more pumpkins to do. Come on, turn over. Thank you. And these ones. Oh, <laughs> It's always good when you can, when you have room on your desk to do a card, Bill. Oh, yes, we've been watching CSI Las Vegas since the day it started. And now it's gone. No, Las Vegas isn't gone. New Orleans is gone. Yes, we did watch Vegas. Vegas is gone, New Orleans is gone, L.A. and the regular CSI is still there. NCIS. Okay, what did you ask? CSI Las Vegas. Yes. It's coming back, isn't it? I think that's one of the ones Ted said was coming back. I forgot to snip this off. There. Okay, Pumpkin. Big leaf and little leaf. Oops, I've lost a leaf. Where did it go? There's only three leaves there. Where's my other leaf? Uh-oh. I am missing a leaf. Uh oh. Oh, is it? Oh, good. Maybe it's still on here. Anybody? Oh, look. <laughs> Found it. Las Vegas. Oh, that was the one that had, uh, what was her name? Lynn Muhlenberger or Helen Berger or something in it? Was it she the one that was on there? Heddle, Heddleburger, Heidelberger. I don't remember what her name was. She had red hair. She was good. I liked her. I'm trying to shove this leaf underneath here, and I should have put it on first. There, it's it's fine. It's fine. Okay, now this I have this little bit here, and I'm just going to tie it around to make a a knot. Lindsay Heidelberger. Isn't that what her name is? Okay. Get this all laying down here nice and flat. There. Now, pull it tight. My ribbon scissors. Give it a little trim. Oh, I should show you. I was watching a video the other night, and she did a bow. Uh, I'm sorry. I really forget who it was. Uh, we had a team thing on the weekend with a bunch of demonstrators across Canada. And um, one of them showed how to tie a bow. And it was a really ingenious way. And I thought, I need to show the ladies how to do that. So I will do that. Oh, just the characters. Yeah. <laughs> I get you. Okay. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. I probably should have put more glue on those because they'll get ripped off in the mail. But, oh, well. Okay. So this, I'm going to put one dimensional on there and then I'm going to put a little bit of Tombow on here maybe 
because I want it to stick up here, but I want it underneath there. So if you can see, I've got it kind of crooked. So let's see if I can get this in there. Okay, where do I want to where do I want to try and get it underneath? Um, this up like that, and just kind of shove that underneath there, and then work it underneath there. There we go. Oh, perfect, perfecto. Now put the inside inside. Oh, Jean, I love them too. I really do. I am so glad my hostess, who is Carmen, who usually participates in these, but she's she's away this week. She's the one that forced me to get it. It's all her fault, but I love them. They're so funny. You can use them for any season, any occasion. So there's the inside. Is that those not the cutest little pumpkins? I should have put a witch's broom in there too. What do you think? Put a little witchy broom underneath there? Maybe not. Maybe not. This is the witch's broom. It looks really cool out of black. What's that stuff called? Black glitter paper. Thank you, Connie. Thank you, Holly. Okay, let's get our now dry rhinestones out. Okay, there's a really weird noise happening outside right now. That's just bizarre. It's kind of a howling siren -y thing. Okay, there we are. Our card is finished. Finished. All right. Um, what was I going to? I was going to show you how to tie a bow. A bow, a bow, a bow. I have a piece of retired ribbon sitting here. So depends on how big you want your bow to be, but she did it on her, um, what's this thing called? Bone folder. So she just tied it around. Let's just cut off a little bit of that because she tied it around her bone folder like this. Did a little square knot right over left and under, left over right and under, whatever you want to do like that. Then you may pull it nice and tight. See, now you've got this thing and you're thinking, what the heck? How are you going to get a bow out of that? Well, let me show you. Okay. I got a piece of cardstock in here. So you pull it off your bone and it comes off because it slides off really nice. So now you put it on. Well, it's not a bow. It's a knot. Sorry. It's a knot. So now you just put it around your cardstock where you want it. Just like you normally do. Ah. Like that. So now you've got your, your ribbon around your, your card. And you just take your scissors and cut that bow or that loop. And there you go. There you go. Yes, show who won the paper. Is that not the slickest way to make a knot? And it's so easy. Of course. I didn't find out about that till after this was prepped because that was a long time ago. But there you go. How to make a bow. 
using your bone fold. It's no, sorry, it's not a bow. Come on, Mollet. Get it right. It's a knot. It's a knot. Yeah, it works really, really well. And it's so pretty. Of course, I love that ribbon. Okay, who won the paper? So, last Thursday, I said to comment and share on my video. But you couldn't do that because it I forgot it was a private group. So you can't share from a private group. So I moved it over to my page where you could comment and share. So I had four people comment and share. And the winner of this entire package of designer paper from the Celebration Catalog, unopened, is Yvonne. So congratulations, Yvonne, if you're watching or listening or get this in the replay, you can um, get in touch with me and make arrangements to pick it up. No shipping required. That was fun. I enjoyed doing that. Okay. So here we go. What else have I got? to impart what kind of knowledge shall I impart upon you now? Um, class registration for October is the um, hang on, I just did it. Oh, Peaceful Cabin. Okay, I'm not going to show you the cards. I'm going to kind of show you the cards. Oops, can't show you that one because that's got the recipe on it. Here, you want a sneak peek of the Peaceful Cabin class for October? Ooh, so these three cards, there's two of each because I've done the videos already. So those three cards are the um, Peaceful Cabin class. These two cards, look at the color. Those are for um, the bonus videos that my subs tutorial subscription gets. And if you are part of the tutorial subscription and you decide you want me to create a kit for you so you can do the class instead of prepping your own, then I just upgrade you. I did that your monthly fee from the cost of the class. What is tomorrow? Tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock, YouTube, I'm going to make, I'm going to make, I'm going to make a Merry Christmas card. Look at that bling on that card. Isn't that gorgeous? So that's what tomorrow is. 10 a.m. YouTube. 10 a.m. Pacific time on my YouTube channel. And if you can't make it, it'll be there afterwards. And if you, thanks. Did I finish the wheelbarrow? <laughs> oh, gee, no, I didn't have a chance to finish the wheelbarrow. It's all done except for the wheel. I didn't get out my, I didn't get out my glue gun. So there's the, there's the wheelbarrow. This is the paper pumpkin kit for September. I love these cute little things. But here's the wheel. And it's supposed to go on here. But I didn't realize that I needed a hot glue gun to do it. It just fits in there like that. I didn't realize I needed a hot glue gun to do it. And I didn't have my hot glue gun when I was creating last night. But I will get it done. Isn't that cute? I will. I will get it done. And then my other one arrived today. So I can't open it yet, though, because I was supposed to get two for my northern grandson, and I, I messed up and didn't get them, so he needs a second one. So if I can't get him a refill next week, then I'm going to have to send my other one up to him. So I'm not going to open it yet. Yeah, so that class, you have until 
Where's my newsletter? There it is. October newsletter. So if you didn't get this in your mailbox, you might want to let me know so I can send it to you. Um, it is on Wednesday, October the 20th. If you want the kits only or the the tutorial only option, you got to let me know by the 12th of October. If you want the kits plus the bundle, then it's October the 6th because I have to get the bundle in for you. There we go. And I'm doing I'm doing a free class on the 26th, so next Sunday. Um, I'm going to show you how to make a a couple of gift card holders. And I will get the recipe posted in my VIP group for those so that you can prep your kits. We'll make two of them. There's two different kinds. Okay, ladies, thanks so much for joining me. Um, if you are watching the replay or you catch this on YouTube, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I am trying to get to 500 subscribers and I'm getting there. And I would appreciate it if you would subscribe. And then there's a little bell comes up. So if you click on that bell and then click on all, it will tell you when I upload videos, which happens, let's see, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, at least four videos a week I put there. Thanks, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock on YouTube. Stampin' Smiles. Bye for now.